Hi. Hello, hello. I am Lee Keckner. I am on day 32 of 33 Mindful Moments. I'm so excited about today's Mindful Moment. Okay, you guys, if we could get started, um, if you would uncross your legs and put your feet down on the floor and just take three breaths with me. So we'll start with in through our nose and out through our mouth. In through our nose and out through our mouth. In through our nose and out through our mouth. Focusing on our breath is the quickest way to get back to the present moment. We are on day 32. Tomorrow is my last one out of this series. And I was thinking, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting pretty enlightened. I'm seeing colors in a different way. I was thinking all of these things. And then you know when I did it yesterday, I was feeling pretty sick. Today I'm feeling a little better. But last night, yesterday I was feeling sick because I had not been taking care of my body. Yesterday I was sick, I was a little cranky and I wanted to just lay around and do nothing but Dave's Prius is kind of bottoming out. He said, would you please come with me to look at cars? And then we made the decision to bring our three littles, Sergeant Audrey and Eve, the ones who kind of get in it the most. And I was not feeling up to even going, but I went anyway, bad choice. Um, so anyway, we went, uh, we looked at the first place. I just sat in the lobby with Eve because there weren't enough sp spots in the car for all of us. And Dave test drove and then we went to the next place and then Audrey and Eve started playing grab ass and fighting. And I mean, Eve was going at it, kicking and screaming and going, shut up in a public place. And I was sick and I just wanted to push her into this large trash can that had a lid on it. And I just sat there like in awe. So I just went and got in the car and I was getting pissed off in the car and I was sitting there really getting pissed off and then Sergeant joined me and laid down in the back of the car. And by the time they got in the car, I just was like, I can't believe you. Do you know that was so embarrassing? We're supposed to go see my friend this week. And I was going, I was reacting and reacting and reacting. Then we get home and I had each person in my family what it felt like to me pushing sore spots in my body. And I was like, uh, uh, uh. finally, I jump up barefoot, haul us out the car, grab my purse. Eve's like, where are you going? I was like, I don't know. I just have to get out of this place. I mean, seriously, this was me on day 31 of my mindful moments. I jump in my car. I go around the corner. I like peel out around the corner and I stop in front of a neighbor's house and I turn off my car. I just sit there and start crying. I'm just crying, crying, crying in my car. And then I get a text message from a gal that lives in another state who I haven't really been communicating with that often. And she goes, I just want to tell you how much your mindful moments mean to me. And she said, um, I'm going through, a, or I'm divorced and I'm raising kids by myself. And me and my oldest son are fighting so much. He moved out into with his father who he doesn't like. Like that's how much he dislikes me. And I feel so bad and I feel so lost. And she just said all of these things. So I started commenting to her, oh, it's on my phone, so I can't look what I actually said, but I said, take a breath, take a breath, that you have awareness of this, and I can hear how much these people mean to you, and what a good job you're doing. I said, take a breath. We are here to be human. We are here to screw up. We're here to learn. I said, be gentle with yourself right now. You're feeling so vulnerable. Literally, as I'm writing this to this other person, I'm wiping my tears away from my own stuff. And I thought, oh, how funny that we think one person's this person and we think the other person, we're all the same. We're all trying our best and we're doing the best where we are. Um, so it was such a blessing when I was stuck in my spinning and my story of how mad I am about everyone's pissing me off and I don't feel good. Why can't I just be? So I'm spinning, right? I was being mindless. A girl showed up saying, I'm really, really feeling out of control and mindless. And as I got to share with her some tools to pull herself out, I started looking at the words I was writing and I started softening right there in that moment to cut myself some slack, to be gentle with myself, to be so happy that this was happening last night when I'm almost done with this 33 days, that I'm having a freaking meltdown around the corner barefoot in my car, bawling when I thought I should be all enlightened. No, I'm not all enlightened. I'm a human being doing the best that I can where I am. 
So anyway, I want to thank that girl for struggling yesterday and for texting me how much she was hurting so she could pull me out of my mindless spinning victim story. And then what I realized was, why am I feeling this way? Why is my body sick? What am I doing or not doing that I've gotten to this point right now, that I'm around the corner barefoot weeping in front of a stranger's house? Not really a stranger. I know who that guy is. But he wasn't there, thank God. And I thought, I've run too fast, and I haven't done the practice stuff that keeps me taking care of myself. And for me, that is, I have a morning mantra. I meditate one time during the day for 20 minutes. Oh, compassionate self-forgiveness. Okay, think of, even if it's one thing, if it's one thing that you can commit to, if it's two minutes a day of putting your feet on the ground and feeling that the, the earth is supporting you without doing a thing, you're being held like a baby. When you sit in a chair, it's like you're just being held. and You're not even doing anything. So having gratitude for that and taking a few breaths, even if you just do that every day, just to let you know how loved you are, how supported you are, how connected you are. And, uh, and, it, and whatever it is, for me, I gotta get back to my three things and I did it today. I gotta get back to my morning mantra to remind me why I'm here. I have to get back to meditating, to slowing this crap down and connecting more to here, my true self. And then I keep wanting to say bedtime intentions, compassion, compassionate self-forgiveness, which is literally I'm in the car and I can say, I forgive myself for judging myself as bad. I forgive myself for judging myself as an asshole. I forgive myself for judging myself as a bad mom. I forgive myself for judging myself as not mindful. I forgive myself, like really, but not that fast, but really forgiving yourself for those thoughts because you are doing the best that you can where you are. So try and set up some sort of uh, practice for yourself to keep you in line. And what I'm finding is when I'm being mindful, or I'm being gentle with myself, or I'm meditating, I'm connecting to a part that's not hurting. I'm connecting to a part that's not spinning. And when I do that, I don't drink as much. I don't eat as much. I don't yell as much. When I don't do that, I'm a partier and I'm eating late night because who cares? And I'm yelling at my kids. So just remember that you have to do something like yeah, look at that gun. You have to do something to, to work the muscle. So set up a practice for you to connect to your true self. And I am doing this with me. So I'm grateful for my freak out last night. I'm grateful my, for my explosions. I'm grateful for my tears. I'm grateful for the thing that that girl sent me. So this is from Eve. To mom from Eve. She was very concerned when I was running out in my pajamas barefoot to get in my car. So she sent me that. And then there's this. She pulled out of our drawer for cards for people. She said she tried to write something here and it didn't work out, so she crossed it off. Okay, so look at this stuff. I love this stuff. I love it so much. So there's me and Eve holding hands. And then she put, I love you, Mom. And then she said, that's me inside the heart. And then this was going to be a Christmas tree with a star, but she goofed it up, so she made it an angel. And I said, who's the angel, you or me? And she goes, no, it's just an angel. Just an angel hanging out with us. Oh my gosh, so am I gonna beat myself up for my bad behavior last night, for my crying, for my running around like a crazy person? Or am I gonna be grateful because I learned from it? And you know what else I did from my car? I texted each of my kids. And I said, hey, Audrey, I'm sorry I yelled at you and said I'm not taking you down to my friend's house for 4th of July because of your bad behavior. I would never not take you anywhere, and I love you with all my heart. I'm having a bad night. And then I did it with each one of my kids, which was great. So by the time I came home, they were excited to see me, you know, all pissed off at me. All right, that is what's going on with me. God, I'm grateful for my illness right now, for feeling sick, because it shows me I stepped out of line with taking care of myself. And God, I'm thankful for my kids poking me last night while I wasn't feeling well, so I could have a freak out. And remember that I'm human and that I need to practice self-compassion and I need to get back to taking care of myself. Thank you for the girl that texted me struggling with her son because she helped me get back to my center. Thank you for gratitude that that is a tool that can bring us instantly back to the present moment because you can't be grateful for your beautiful children or the people that you love 
and spin in anger. So thank you for gratitude that in the car last night I was able to snap right into gratitude and think about each of those kids and send them a text. I am excited that I'm human. I'm excited that I am enjoying being human, enjoying crying and screwing up because I'm learning from it. Let me continue to do so so I never stop learning. Amen. I love you guys. Have a beautiful Sunday, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 33.